we've come together on this glorious day at uh, the hut in Hayton in Cumbria and uh, we've got some willing volunteers and we're going to make a, a cob oven and once, once we've built it we'll uh, leave it for a few weeks to dry and then we'll have a bit of a, a party with pizzas and uh, a barbecue. Okay, so the first thing uh, we need to do is build a plinth to build the oven on. So the stage of that is decide how big the oven's going to be. Uh, in this case we've gone for 58 centimetres internal diameter. Um, we've uh, got some storage heater bricks and uh, now we're going to build the, the plinth out of these materials uh, to sit it on. finished making the plinth now so we'll leave that overnight and uh, and then we'll have a, a crew of helpers to make the oven tomorrow so the principle of the cob oven is that we take the energy that's stored in a bit of stick we burn it to release the energy and then we trap the energy in a thermal mass, which is the cob, and then radiate that onto our food. First of all, we need to insulate it, so that's the purpose of the wine bottles. So once we've got the bottles embedded in here, we need a good flat level surface of sand to bed these things in, which will be the floor of the oven. So this will form the cooking floor, um, and the firing floor. So if you're cooking things like pizzas or flatbreads, you'll cook directly on this, not on a tray. So the next stage is to build a former uh, or a mould to build the oven over. Because when we make the cob, it's, n it's not got any structural integrity when it's wet. So we have to have something to prop it up. In terms of the proportions of this thing, the size of it isn't really that important, but the proportions of it are vital. Okay, so this is the uh, shape we're building, and then that's the door where we're going to put the uh, fire in and get pizzas out. But because the cob isn't an insulating material, that would give us cold spots. So we don't have a chimney, and we rely on creating a rolling burn that goes like that. The purpose of the wet newspaper is uh, when we come to empty the former out of the oven then it's good to have uh, a line of separation between the cob and the uh, sand, it just makes it come away easier. But the main reason is, is that if you put the cob directly on this then the sand sticks to the cob, you take the sand out but there's still a lining of sand and when you heat it up, it falls off onto your pizza. So we've got uh, our two components here, which is uh, sharp sand or grit sand or concrete sand. So this is uh, the clay that we're going to use, which is pre-prepared. Um, so you've got to mix dry ingredients, so if you're going to use clay out of the ground you've got to dry it and make it into a powder before you can use it so that you can add the sun to it. Now the proportions of the uh, 
likely to sand in this instance uh, 5 to 7. So it's 5 clay to 7 sand. So what you're after is a shape that's thicker at the front with a, a like a long tail and it should also lean inwards a bit. So when you're making one, if you just wet your hands before you mould it, that'll be sufficient. the hut in uh, Hayton to see how the uh, oven has dried. Uh, it's about four weeks since we, we were here so we're going to uh, cut the door out, uh, get all the sand former out, uh, light it gently and there's a large crowd of people anticipating pizzas so we're really under pressure for it to go okay. I didn't cook them, I didn't make them. 